Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of DeFiYield.app, Michael Rosmer. How are you doing today, Michael? Doing awesome, Rich. Good to be with you. Yeah, good to have you on the show again. Very excited to touch base with you. Obviously, DeFi is just one of the hottest sectors in the world right now, and definitely yeah. one of the hottest sectors in cryptocurrency. Can you touch yep. base a little bit about DeFi Yield's investing dashboard? Yeah, so uh, I guess since I was last on the show, we've been improving a lot very quickly. And so we've rolled out a ton of new features. I really recommend anybody who is watching to just go and plug in. It's free to use, so you can connect your, uh, your wallet and you'll be able to see all your assets across many different chains. You'll be able to do all kinds of different functions built in there. You can go and check out a bunch of our other features and yeah I, I mean it's basically a place it's the safe place to do all your DeFi investing from it's supposed to be the, the one home for you and we love DeFi. i still have your book right here i keep it here awesome. all the time it's it's my bible for DeFi, and i've really been a big fan of DeFi. um ever since we really started talking i started really getting deep into DeFi, looking more into it and just falling in love with decentralized finance how many chains does your new dashboard support? So right now we're integrated with 11 chains. Wow. Uh, so yeah, pretty much all of the ones that you would care about that are EVM compatible. And so we're rolling out a bunch more. I think we're adding five more or something like that. It's pretty much everything EVM compatible. We pretty much got it. And what chains are to be added soon? I know that we're really interested in Solana, Terra, Polkadot, and Cosmos. Are those some of the ones that will be added? Yeah. So one of the really exciting things is actually this month, we're going to be launching with Solana and Terra. Wow. Uh, nice. Yeah. I mean, those are obviously like massive TVL. Lots of users interested, et cetera. And I think one of the cool things is we're the only ones who you will be able to see both your Solana balances and your EVM compatible balances at the same time. So being able to have you know, that full ecosystem, being able to see everything is just way more convenient than bouncing between 10 different things, you know. So what exactly can users do with the dashboard? Can they stake? Can they lend? Can they borrow? Can they rebalance assets? Yeah, so a few different things. Uh, so first of all, of course, you can see all of your assets, right? That's kind of the first most important thing going on. Uh, and one of the things that's really unique about what we have is we have uh, historical data, which offers you profit and loss. So when you log in, right now it's on nine chains, we're rolling it out onto the others. You're going to be able to see how much your portfolio on that chain, as well as individual assets, are up or down, which is great, right? Rather than having to keep track of like, where was I at yesterday? And so on. Yes. So that's, this is something that's... that I've noticed with exchanges. They don't keep track of a lot of that stuff. It's a pain, right? It's so yes. annoying. Yeah. So, so, so we've got that, which is great. Uh, the second thing is, yeah, you can add liquidity, remove liquidity to uh, various different protocols. So if you wanted, you see something that you want to invest in, we're building this Explore Opportunities page. It's really sophisticated right now. It's got the first basic part of it. And so you can say, okay, I want to invest. I see a good APY. I'd like to go in, add liquidity, remove liquidity. That's really great. Uh, in addition to that, we're alerting you about if you have uh, c contracts that you've approved that are risky. So you can revoke that approval. Uh, so that's great. We're building in swaps. So you'll be able to actually do the swapping right there in our platform. Basically, you don't have to go anywhere else. You'll be able to do bridging. So bridging tokens from one chain to another. Uh, we've got a really unique thing uh, called multi-harvesting, which is where if you're familiar at all, you put assets into a bunch of different pools and you have to harvest your rewards one by one. It burns up a lot of gas. And so we're building a button that you can just click once and it'll multi-harvest across them. There's some gas efficiency in regard to that. Uh, so yeah, like you said, staking, yield farming, all these different things, trying to basically put it all into one, one environment, one platform so you can manage everything. So we also not only love DeFi, but we love NFTs. 
and NFTs dashboard on DeFi yield. So you guys are also doing that. What will users be able to do with that? Yeah, so I mean, NFTs is not our main focus. So we're there. I mean, obviously, NFTs are huge. It's, you know, one of these things. So the idea is you'll be able to see everything that you've got, as well as the price floors for them. So you can understand somewhat what the what the values are at the moment. But yeah, our big focus is on DeFi for more investing, staking, yield farming, lending, etc. And less on NFTs, which we're supporting kind of in a ancillary way because we have already have the data. Let's talk about the smart chain scanner. What is it and why is there so much hype around it on the web? Yeah, so if you look over the last three years or so, what you're going to notice is that auditors, templates for auditing has not changed at all. There's basically been zero innovation in that space. And in fact, arguably the quality has gone down for a lot of these companies while the cost and time have gone up. It's basically turned into a little factory for them. So what our smart chain uh, contract scanner does is it automates the audit process. You can take any right now on Binance smart chain or Ethereum, and we're rolling out to the other EVM compatible chains. Any contract address, you can put it into our scanner. You can hit the button and two seconds later, it will give you a security scan, which tells you are there vulnerabilities in the contract, things you should be worried about, concerns that you might get rugged, et cetera and identifies those to give you some idea of like, okay, is this a safe project that I'm going into? And removes most of the common risks that you might encounter, which is pretty, pretty fantastic. There's nothing like it in the space. And it's, you know, we're basically trying to uh, kind of uh, disrupt the entire auditing space. And I think, you know, we stand, uh, stand a pretty good chance of doing that. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Now let's talk about the DeFi token. What's its main utility? Yeah, so aside from being a governance token, which is great, helps to manage things. Uh, one of the really cool things right now, we have all of our infrastructure is centralized. Okay, and that's you know useful for being able to make changes really quickly and update things. We've been putting our team on doing constant streams of updates over the last few months. We're really happy about that. We've got a bunch of them over the next several months. But our plan over the next six to 12 months is to decentralize all of our infrastructure. And to give some idea of why this is really important, if you have a scanner, which you're relying on to tell you that a smart contract is safe or not, imagine if you have a single point of failure and someone wants to rip you off and they can give the wrong information. They say, oh yeah, this is safe, but it's not. Now they can steal from you basically. And so we believe that in the ethos of DeFi, which you know, we're really committed to, it's really, really important to decentralize all of that. And this is going to allow there to be various different node operators, different participants within this network. And the network is going to be cross-chain. It will be interoperable with all the major chains and be able to supply data. You can kind of think of it like a uh, chain link for security or uh, the graph, uh, sort of like that kind of a structure. And so that token is used to run this network that we're building. When will it be launched? Do you have a date in mind? I mean, our target is to launch a test net within six months and the main net within a year. We'll see. It's a pretty complex project. So although we have a you know, pretty sophisticated development team and a lot of development resources, we're also you know, simultaneously working on all these other things. So that's the target is, like I said, test net mid next year and main net end of next year. Will there be an IDO? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're pretty excited. We are probably going to be doing it around the middle of January. That's the current plan. And so, yeah, stay tuned for when that's going to get released. But yeah, the, the target date is sometime around the middle of January. It'll depend a little bit on what the market is doing, as well as we're working with quite a few pretty major partners. And so we have to kind of fit things in with everybody's schedule. Can you talk a bit, little bit about the DeFi Yield Security Chain Scanner? Yeah, so that's what we we're, I was mentioning earlier, is this kind of chain link for security. And so in that sense, what is it? Uh, well, there's various different participants within the network. Uh, and one of the cool things is we've onboarded some of the top engineers, white hat hackers, et cetera, within the space uh, who are participants in our network and are going to have an opportunity to say, run their own nodes, contribute to uh, new security vulnerabilities. Right now, if you were to go and check out, we have the Rect database, which outlines all the different hacks that have happened, hacks, scams, Red Bulls, et cetera, in the industry. 
and our team has gone through and manually reviewed the code to find out what were the vulnerabilities, et cetera. And so we think it's really important that this community of experts is able to contribute and be rewarded for adding to that knowledge base and helping to prevent more and more vulnerabilities within the network or within the, the ecosystem, I guess, the whole DeFi space. And so, yeah, this is uh, this is what it's going to be. It's not a it's not a blockchain per se. It's a, it's a network. What do you think the prospects for Bitcoin are uh, in 2022? I know that it's been a great year in 2021 for cryptocurrencies, DeFi, Bitcoin, NFTs, and it just seems like there's more evolution that's happening. What is your feel for 2022? You think we're setting up for a huge year? Uh, so I think that we're basically in a situation where we have two sides to look at. So the one is how much liquidity is there? And the other is where does the liquidity flow? So at the moment, there's lots of liquidity and we've had a good period of time, partially because in 2020 and on, central banks and governments poured a lot of liquidity into the market, right? So we benefited from that. I think so long as that doesn't stop, and there are some reasons why it could, uh, but so long as it doesn't stop, then that's a good thing. Then the thing is, okay, where does that liquidity flow? And I think that's super bullish for crypto generally, simply because money tends to follow yields and there's better yields in crypto than there is normally. I mean, I was talking to a hedge fund manager recently who was talking to me about trying to get 2% a year on his bank deposits. And I'm like, first of all, that's kind of sad. Yeah. And second of all, it's actually really hard to get 2%. I mean, you go to Europe and euros are negative interest rates. So wow. like, it doesn't take a genius to think that you know what hey listen if i can put my money into ave or compound or curve or something like that and i can earn let's say five percent or eight percent this is where the money's going to flow right so as 100%. people become more comfortable with it more and more capital is going to flow there so it's just a, a larger share of the overall i think it's going to flow into crypto and then it's just a question of how big is the overall pot size and that that will fluctuate as you know debt expands and contracts well, I'm super excited to see what happens in 2022. Thank you for joining us this year in 2021 and really introducing our community to DeFi. It's been a wild ride. We've had yeah. enormous returns in DeFi, and I really believe this is just getting started. And I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Past performance is not always an indication of future results. In saying that, I believe DeFi is one of the hottest new upcoming sectors in the world. And I think everyone should be aware of DeFiYield.app. Thank you for joining me today, the CEO of DeFiYield.app, Michael Rosmer. Thank you for joining us today, Michael. Awesome. Thanks, Rich. Look forward to doing it again in the future. Yes, I'd love to invite you back again anytime you have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss. Love to invite, invite you back on the show. And I'm sure we'll get a chance to speak again in 2022. If I don't see you before that, have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and we look forward to seeing you next year. You too. We'll talk then. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with the CEO of DeFiYield.app. Michael Rosmer saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.